Hello, my name is James and welcome to Mirror Domains. Today I'm going to be talking about the autopsy of Jane Doe. Well, this was a smaller horror film that came out this year and not a lot of people have seen it because, well, it's a smaller character piece between Emile Hirsch's character and Brian Cox, his character, who uh, are playing a father-son duo that are people who do like autopsies on people. And in that aspect, it's really, really interesting. I was fascinated with the whole process of this profession of, you know, diagnosing what's wrong with this body, how did this person die, and I liked all of that analysis part of it. But that being said, it is a smaller film. The performances are great. I like them. But it sort of felt a little bit at times like it was made for TV. And that's a bummer, and I fault the director for that. Some of the scares are kind of like jump scares. They do have a sense of mood with this uh, place where they do the autopsies, because it's in the basement of a funeral home, I think. And, uh, you know, this family's funeral home, and it's got a creepy vibe to it. I like that part of it. It's just, as I said at times, it felt a little bit like that made-for-TV special in the sense of the writing too, because it's like the way it unfolds, it's kind of like one character believes something is happening and the other one's just trying to be, well, you know, that, that can't be true because that's, this is real life. And then they kind of switch roles halfway between and the ending is a little bit ambiguous in the sense it leaves you with the question of what really happened. And it's up to you to decide what really happened. And in that aspect, it's kind of cool, but should I recommend this to most people? <laughs> if you're a horror fan, you're going to like it. You're going to like this film. It's not the best film of the year so far in the genre of horror, but it's definitely worth a look. Looking at my score sheet, I gave 1.5 for the acting performances. Directing, I gave a 1. You'll understand why when you watch it. Story 1.5, the premise is really well done. And as I said, I liked all the processes that they were going through to do these autopsies and trying to unravel the mystery as to who this girl is. Really well done. I like that stuff. So 1.5 for the story, cinematography and score are serviceable, 0.5.5, and the watchability factor. If you're a horror fan, you'll probably want to watch it more than once, but I would say at least watch it once. That's a one point for the watchability factor. Adding all that up, that is a 6 out of 10 for The Autopsy of Jane Doe. Want to know how these categories work? Just look up in the cards and you'll find a playlist where I'll describe how each every, and every one of these categories work. All right, that's it. If you like what you've seen, please hit the thumbs up button and subscribe. Oh.